This is an RTV6 update working for you. I'm Lauren Casey and these are your latest headlines from the RTV6 newsroom. Opening statements are set to start today in the case of a northern Indiana woman who's on trial for killing three kids at their bus stop. Alyssa Shepard is facing several charges, including reckless homicide. A jury was selected up in Fulton County on Tuesday. That crash happened back on October 30th of last year in Rochester. It killed nine year old a nine year old girl and her six year old twin brothers. Shepard said she didn't know that she was driving towards a stop school bus the morning of that crash. The tragedy prompted lawmakers to pass new state laws regarding school bus safety. Now that Indigo's red line is up and running, the focus is now shifting so to some other Indigo projects. The blue line will provide rapid transit along Washington Street between Cumberland and the airport, but not everyone is happy about the new line, and tonight those people have a chance to let their opinions be heard. The proposed map of the blue line shows the route would be 24 miles long with dedicated lanes just like the red line here downtown. That would reduce Washington Street to just one lane. A meeting to discuss the blue line will be held tonight at 530 at the Wayne Township Government Building. Todd. Temperatures today are going to be on the cool side. In fact, it's the coolest high temperatures we have in your seven day planning forecast as we only climb back up into the 50s, but with mostly cloudy skies and a persistent northwesterly wind, it's going to feel more like it's in the 40s. Then overnight tonight, the wind will calm. Skies will clear. Temperatures will be falling back down into the mid 30s to upper 30s for overnight lows. So there could be a little bit of patchy frost in spots come tomorrow morning, but throughout the day tomorrow, any morning cloud cover will give way to lots of sunshine throughout the day with high temperatures back close to 60 degrees for afternoon highs. Todd, thanks for more stories and weather you need to know. You can download the RTV6 mobile app. Thanks for joining us.